There was an airplane crash. Tell me. Every single person, every single person mm. on the plane died, but two people survived. How was this possible? There was an airplane crash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And every single person passed away, but two survived. How is that possible? Every person passed away, but two every survived. Every single person passed away, but two survived. Every single person. But everyone passed away. Oh, every single person to survive those that are married are not single <laughs> <laughs> if there are six apples okay. and you take away four how many apples do you have the six apples and you took away four how many is left how many do you have come on two mm. the six apples mm. and you took four how much do you have how much is left but i have them Exactly. So okay. how much do you have? No, I much? have all of them. Four. <laughs> <laughs> what can you never have for breakfast? It can be grass. I don't know. Something. But what can you never have for breakfast? Dinner. How much dirt is there in a hole that is three feet deep, six foot long, and four foot wide? This is a lot of... How much dirt... Is there inside of a hole if it is three feet deep, six feet long, and four feet wide? Nah, this is difficult, fam. Fam, um, must I give you the answer? Tell me. None, because it wouldn't be a hole. Of course not. No. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't show my dad this because he's ah! my child. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, we all have low days. Yeah. I'm having a low day. I put on an outfit that's bright and that just speaks grace, be happy, be cheerful, make someone smile, make someone laugh. So, yeah, that's basically kind of how it started. Yeah. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so now let's, let's take it back, back, back. Yeah. So first of all, <laughs> I can hear by your accent that yes. you have like a Zimbabwean, wow. Zambian kind of thing. So you mind like explaining where you were born, where you grew okay. up and how you ended up in PE then, Johannesburg, well traveled lady. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we've been around, by we I mean myself and my family. Um, I was born in Kinshasa um, and then uh, the, the year I was born. the DRC. Yes, that's the capital of the DRC, for those who don't know. Yeah, DRC yeah. is Democratic Republic of Congo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we out here. <laughs> Representing. <laughs> <laughs> so I was born in Kinshasa and the year that I was born, my parents um, moved to Zambia. So we lived in Zambia, in Dola, for 12 years. So basically, most of my childhood was spent yeah, in yeah, Dola. Yeah. And uh, after tel- the 12 years, we then moved to Harare in Zimbabwe. We were there for five years. I went to, I did my high school in, um, in Harare. That's where I learned how to speak Shona, and I made many connections and friendships there. And then from there, I went to university in Port Elizabeth, which is in the Eastern oh. Cape. Um, I studied there, yeah. nothing to do with fashion at all. I studied human resource management oh. and industrial psychology. And I, um, and I have an, an honors degree in that. It wasn't really my passion, but I had to do something because my dad was like, yeah. nah, I'm not Dads. spending my money on fashion. And I was like, okay, cool, <laughs> let me do something. Yeah. You know, but I really enjoyed it. I just feel like my passion is fashion, which is what I'm trying to get into yeah. bit by bit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. And then... So now the fashion, I know that you have um, a page called More Garcia Finds. Yes. What is that about and how okay. can someone benefit from that? Okay, More Garcia Finds is my baby. I like to call it my baby because this is something that I did on my own without anybody helping me. Yeah, yeah, Apart yeah. from my friends who encouraged me and said to me, Grace, come on, you can do this thing. I mean, people love your style, that sort of thing. So it basically started off as a... Um, it was a hobby when I started it off. I like to... I'm a person that loves bargains. Listen, I love to spend money, but I love to save money at the yeah, same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, I always do, <laughs> right? <laughs> and I always tell people, you can look fabulous by sticking to your financial lane. Listen, you don't need a lot of money to look good. Literally, you can give me 150 rand and I'll come up with a full outfit. I'm not even exaggerating. Um, so She's <laughs> out here in these streets. <laughs> so I do a lot of, of, of thrifting. So that's where the Mograsa finds um, came from. Um, I'll explain the name as well. More grasa, more obviously means more. Mm-hmm. Grasa is grace in Portuguese, and finds is obviously me yeah, finding the yeah, items. Yeah. So more grasa finds also connected to my spiritual life and my relationship with God. More grace, I feel like my business grew yeah, by the yeah. grace of God yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, that's basically what more grasa finds is about. I thrift items, I clean them, I put the outfits together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I post them on my Instagram and yeah, people buy them. Apart from that, I've had experiences where I put on an outfit and I'm walking through the mall and someone is like, where did you get that? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. what? You like this? <laughs> Listen, you can have this for 50 rand. Oh, 50 yeah. rand. And they're like, yeah, okay, I take it off. I always make it a point to take two outfits to work because you never know when someone Are wants you to serious? Work. So you actually, I never know when on someone the wants, spot, you of actually course, just... Of course, I never know when someone wants to buy an item. So I always have an extra outfit somebody likes it i'm like listen i take off the jacket looks really good on you girl you know what you wallet drink drink okay i'm like bye see you later follow my page Hustle so, gang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's basically how jeez, it works jeez 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 and i know you have pop-up stores i know yes, you I have do. these events where people come through and they like something how often do you have them and what are the challenges that you go through to actually have these sort of events okay it, it really just depends um Right now, since I started Mograsa Finds, I think I started around about 2016, 17. I've only had about three pop-ups. Um, so the that's biggest, two years ago, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The biggest challenge for me is time. Um, apart from Mograsa Finds, I do work a nine-to-five. So I'm obviously expected to perform in my nine-to-five as well. I don't like to... Um, to leave anything any gaps so i perform in my nine to five so it becomes quite a challenge when i don't have time to source my items and people asking me how's it going we need a pop-up we need a pop-up um type thing so i try what i try to do is uh, find a balance which is very very difficult because on top of uh my work life i have my church life i have my family there's a lot of things going on so most times the the biggest challenge for me is time Mm -hmm. um and then you I uh, get an instance like you can't find a perfect venue because yeah. I like to find a central venue which for makes everyone. it yeah. easier for my clients to come through and, uh, and you know, have a look. Uh, and also my, my pop-ups aren't only about the, the shopping and the clothes. I like 
people to make connections. Um, so from some of my pop-ups, people have made friendships, they've connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, Networking they start, is also very that's key. the thing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I just want everyone to be free and to, you know, get to know each other and yeah. to shop, obviously. Yeah. And yeah, take it from there. So would you ever put yourself in a situation where you leave the 9 to 5 life and you actually take on this fashion blogging, um, image consultant stuff? Would you ever venture into your own type of business? I really would. What's I really you? would. That is the aim. I feel like I'm so much in my comfort zone and getting out of it is a problem. Uh, what I am working on now is to get to a stage where uh, I'll be safe enough to... Financially, of course. Financially, yeah, 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 of course, yeah, yeah. to just jump ship and yeah. say to myself, okay, corporate is not for me. Let me just mm. go and, and move further with, with my business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so that is the, the, the goal. The and hopefully goal. Yeah. soon we'll get there. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. And would you ever want to like, you know, travel or like have a team where you guys actually go around and do this pop up stuff, or is it only gonna be Cassia and Cassia alone? No, that that's uh, something I've been thinking about. I'm glad you asked that question because I've I've actually been um, thinking about getting other people on board. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. been speaking to a couple of people that can maybe help me source the items. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, what makes more Grasa finds uh, more Grasa finds is me. Okay. But I mean, the work is so much and I can't do everything on my mm -hmm. own. So I'm looking on bringing a, a couple of people on as well. And with that, um, I've had a lot of people asking me, you only sell um, your items in South Africa. What about us in Zambia? Yeah, yeah, what about true, us true. in Zimbabwe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the way, uh, I had a client from Germany, actually, potential client. She says, I want to buy this jacket, but can you send it to me? What, what will happen? What can we do? Yeah. So I'm also looking on shipping options and how to get some items to the different countries as well. But... Um, uh, hopefully in the near future, I can do like mini tours where I do pop-ups yeah, yeah, in yeah, different pop countries yeah. as well. Yeah. I know my name, mm. Marvel have those kind of things. So yeah, if you really yeah. like, you know, focus on of that, you, know, you can really take it up. And sure. image consultants, mm -hmm. what is that? And how can someone hook you up and say, hey, can you consult my image? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so th that also basically came out of um, me liking um, fashion, dressing up and a lot of people saying, okay, Grace, I like your style please style me yeah. listen um right now i'm not doing it as a as a source of income i'm not getting money from it i usually just kind of do it for fun to help people out yeah, you know yeah, someone yeah. gives me a call grace listen i've got this um event i need to go to and i have absolutely no idea what to wear so what i will then do is just go shop around get a couple of items send it to the person and then if they're happy and i say to them okay you can go to the shop yeah. this is what you need da -di -da -di -da. Is it only strictly females? Can I, as a guy, say, "Hey, I need my image to be consulted"? <laughs> I think I'm. I think I'm talented enough to style guys. Ooh, as well. shout out, I shout would out. say that. I, love the I would say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, girl. I would say that. Yeah. I've never styled too many guys. Yeah. Usually, just my brothers here and there. Yeah. Um, but I think I'm about to embark on on uh, on styling a male very very soon. Oh, Maybe yeah. a male or two. So let's see how that yeah. goes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. I'll definitely be be on standby to watch. <laughs> yes. And um. Like who? Because I asked on Instagram mm -hmm. um, what questions to ask, and most okay. of the questions I got was, "What is your inspiration?" I know you okay. said Janelle Monae, oh, wow. but what is the inspiration behind the fashionista that is Grace? Um, I think I'm my own inspiration. I always like to say I'm my own inspiration because I've come a really long way. Yeah. Um, in terms of confidence, in terms of pushing myself, in terms of jumping out of my comfort zone, I have done a lot. Uh, so out. I like to say I inspire me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I inspire me to do better. I inspire me to be a better person. I inspire me to work harder as well. So, I mean, apart from that as well, I've got my parents yeah, yeah. who are really, really hard workers. I mean, they did everything and they do everything to give me the best. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I also just want to obviously do something that will make them proud as well yeah, they can yeah, be yeah. like hey this is our girl you know yeah, my yeah, mom yeah. is always like oh Lila. yeah there she you is you know there she is yeah, look yeah, at yeah. that my fashionista and my dad yesterday looked at me and he's like you're always so well dressed <laughs> yeah, i love yeah, it yeah. You no know? seriously you really yeah. are Shout out. yeah 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 and then i wanted to ask is there like good fashion and bad fashion or is fashion subjective or relative i don't know if i worded my, my words correctly um I would because someone like Kim Kardashian's husband, I won't say his name. Of course. <laughs> um, you know, when we see what he does, some people really like it. Most people are like, um, what's going on there? Listen, I just feel like people have their own way of expressing themselves. So I can't really say this is bad fashion, this is good fashion. If somebody puts something and they say, Listen, this is fashion yeah, to me, yeah. this is how I express myself, why not? 
Just let people express themselves and be happy. I mean, I think the world would be a better place if there was less judging. And people fair saying, enough, yeah, and enough, people saying, enough. listen, no, those shoes don't go with that. Don't shoes. If I feel like this goes with this, then yeah. I'm happy. I'll do it. So fashion is relative. Yes. I mean, person. it's a, it's an art. Mm -hmm. you, you get what I mean? I think it's just artistic. That's just the way of somebody expressing themselves, their personality, how they're feeling mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. So I don't think it any of us have any right to tell them what to do what's wrong or what's yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what i mean all right because right. yeah. you know you have people who like sit there i mean fashion police is there to judge of course of course so what gives them the right to then judge someone's fashion what if they are not looking nice on that day you know yeah i feel like most of that is just for entertainment to be honest yeah. a lot of people just like to sit and watch and be like ha 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 fashion police said yeah. this is bad you know that's <laughs> terrible yeah. don't do this don't do that because bear in mind in a world that we live in our uh, our thoughts are very much um, um, well based on what other people say we, yeah. we are very much we, seek we take up that's the thing yeah. we seek validation or i hear Ridi saying ah that's not nice now in my thoughts i'm like yeah Ridi said the other day that's actually quite ugly you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, just yeah. because somebody said so we we tend to move towards what the masses are saying yeah, yeah. you get we, you yeah. get what i mean and right? i also think financially people are like of course if that is extremely expensive it's, it looks good that's the thing yeah and that's i think we, thing. people need to like you know stay in their lane and exactly. focus on themselves like me i love hoodies listen if it makes you happy occasionally and i'll wear suits you know kill the game yeah you know, <laughs> and then go back to my lane and stuff like of that course. So, so yeah fashion i've never been really interested in fashion mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. i think once i started going on onto instagram mm -hmm. more and more i started seeing so how can one get into it like really like like you for example like someone like me who's just like yeah whatever how can i fully dive into it um i think you just need to kind of uh find a balance or find something that you feel works for you okay mm -hmm. i wouldn't say i'm like i know everything about fashion yeah, you get yeah, what yeah. i mean i never studied fashion i just kind of picked okay i started like i said i started off with janelle monet the next thing i'm looking at the images and i'm like oh this is a person that yeah. styled her let me check what other work they did yeah. and little by little you're just getting into it you 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 pick your um what works for you um and then you can just take it from there basically yeah, i wouldn't yeah. say you just really need to sit down and read all the theses and yeah, yeah. about fashion <laughs> yeah, if you're yeah, not yeah. about that life yeah. it's fine you know you yeah. just find yourself gravitating towards certain items yeah yeah, yeah. yeah um i wanted to say something yeah okay you find yourself <laughs> gravitating towards certain items and that's it I, I was saying you find something that works for for you for me i find like a lot of things work for me mm -hmm. so i can wear a um a look garçonne which is like a tomboy kind of male look I never one day in my life. <laughs> <laughs> one day and then the next day i'm all lady like again yeah, look yeah, so yeah. i switch it up yeah. i switch it up i really don't feel like listen this will only work for so and so this will only work for this kind of people i like to switch it up yeah, yeah. and see um and trying the different things and see if it works for me or yeah, yeah. um and i feel like i pull off a lot of things mm -hmm. i know <laughs> a lot again. of things sometimes <laughs> it's extra but yeah. And sometimes, sometimes you, you do extra. put things on purpose on Twitter just to get the people talking. By yeah. the way, you know, if you say something, it just goes, it travels. I know. It goes like Africa, <laughs> like it goes weird far. Also. <laughs> Guys, she's a it's celeb out here. Celeb <laughs> thing. <laughs> she trends as well. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, quickly before we wrap up, in South yeah. Africa right now, mm -hmm. who do you think is is on it via fashion i know shoma josie has her own oh, style amazing. you were kind of with her for some video yeah or she, we did a a short film called um trick shot and i happened to to be in the video yeah, yeah, because i out, like things out. but anyways i was there <laughs> yeah her fashion is amazing she's very different yeah very and um, she's proud of that yeah. yeah she is and i mean she incorporates her culture into 100%, it she yeah. really not embarrassed about mm. it she just the language the um the that clothes thing. the what dance thing, yeah. i forget what it's yeah. called it's bad, but guys. the dance and everything <laughs> it's it's really just amazing so i'm glad you men you mentioned shoma josie because yeah i think uh, i follow her uh more her fashion more than anyone yeah, else yeah, yeah. i think she's, she's just, the only one that <clears throat> comes to the top of my mind because the rest is just normal yeah normal she's stuff, just different yeah. like i mean she did a line with um with edgar's recently and yeah, i always yeah. walk through the store and just look at the items yeah, like wow yeah. this is so show my jersey you know yeah, it's amazing yeah, yeah. it's amazing and um to close <laughs> mm. you know what are your aims your goals for you know the short term medium mm -hmm. term long term mm -hmm. and you know where can we catch you where can we find you okay um i don't know about goals hey so i'm just trying to be my aim in life is to be happy 
um, I think I spent a lot of my years being very sad and angry. So I just strive to be happy all the time, to make someone smile, <coughs> to give someone a word of encouragement. Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. never know what someone is going through. So, I mean, be nice to someone. Um, and also in terms of my business, just to grow it yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and, and make it something big as well. Um, to make sure my clients are happy, they're well-dressed, you know. Um, they're actually getting something worth worth their money yeah and you can secure your bag as well of course I mean, securing my bag at the same time yeah yeah <laughs> um you can find me on instagram i am on instagram my handle is grasa underscore de de underscore deus d-e-u-s and yeah that's me on instagram also my business page more grasa finds more underscore grasa underscore finds you can find me there on twitter i'm there as well grasa of Deus. So i'm Every. basically everywhere but yeah <laughs> you can find me there we can interact let's talk if maybe you have an idea for me or you think we can collaborate i'm always open to all that she just closed my episode <laughs> thank you guys so wow. much for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for everything i love it thank you for the support as well it keeps me going shout out to leone at the back of the camera yes. always always and uh, thank you guys so much stay tuned for my next episode you know remember god bless and always always work hard because you never know who's watching i'm out peace a is the father of b mm -hmm. but b is not the son of a how is that possible wait a is the father of b yeah and then b is not the son of a how is that possible she could be a daughter okay right i mean i don't know what do you say She's the daughter, not the son. How can a man go eight <laughs> days without sleep? How can a man go eight days without sleep? Hmm. People are not sleepy. <laughs> By sleeping during the night. Oh, wow. It doesn't go eight days without sleep. Ah, okay. Yo, Jesus Christ. Wow. Hi. This is nice. Some months have 31 days. Yeah. Others have 30 days. How many have 28 days? Some months have what? Some months have 31 days. Yeah. Other months have 30 days. How many months have 28 days? Uh, I've just helped you. Some months have 31 days. Mm -hmm. Others have 30. Mm -hmm. How many have? 28 days. Uh, I don't know. How many months have 28 days? All months have 28 days. Hey. <laughs> what goes up but never comes down? Oh, man, I know this one. Yeah. Wait, I know this one. I'm sure I know it. Yeah, you do. What goes up? What goes up but never comes down. Like, you can never, you can never ever come down, no matter what you do. You can't even have plastic surgery for it. Hi, man, I know this one, I promise. Wait, give me a sec. One. <laughs> come on. No, I forgot what it is. Age. Good night. I forgot Goodbye. What it is. <laughs>